Isaac's assault has been relentless. Punishing winds, driving rains, pounding New Orleans and the Gulf Coast for a full day with no signs of easing anytime soon. There is much more coming. Rescue teams moved into Plaquemines Parish as the hurricane, so often compared to Katrina, took on one of its most devastating qualities. I have more damage for this storm than I did for Katrina, and I rode out Katrina at my home. The rush of water came quickly. We just watched the water come up again. Again. Hundreds scrambled to get to higher ground. We just got out the back door with the boat, tried to save my next door neighbors, which couldn't happen. The wind was so strong, it was pushing the boat the opposite way. Whipped by those winds, floodwaters started to swallow homes. Everything washed away. We had nothing. And then entire neighborhoods. The water kept coming up, but I got, I know I got 10 foot of water easy. Up and down the coast, even in areas where levees aren't an issue, there's simply no place for so much water to go. Adding to the mess and misery, trees and power lines seared by the wind. More than half a million are without electricity now, a number that continues to grow. I just didn't think it would be that bad. I, I mean, everybody was saying it wasn't going to be, would it be in the tropical storm, that it wasn't going to be bad. And it's getting even worse because Isaac, an unwelcome guest along the Gulf, refuses to leave. 